What's up you guys, my name is Brent Tai and welcome back to another video. Today we're going over more bar equipment and more specifically we're going over glassware. Now, glassware is very important. Obviously it's what you put your liquids, cocktails, whatever it may be in. Now, it can look very confusing, very daunting, like how do I know what glass to put what thing in? But it's not, it's really nice and simple. So I've got an array of glasses here. I do have some missing that I can't seem to find that I think I've broken. But nonetheless, let's get on with the start with the most obvious one on the right hand side. This is a pint glass. Pints go in here. I don't think I need to say anything else about that. You shouldn't put anything else. There's not pint in a pint glass. Done. Easy. Nice and simple. Again, the next one is a wine glass. This is for wine. Nice and easy. Also, you can put Aperol spritz in here as well. So it's not just for wine, but you know, wine glass with the exception of an Aperol spritz pretty much. Next one is a champagne flute. Now, champagne, prosecco, mimosas, all bellinis, all that sort of stuff goes in here. Then we have a rocks glass. So this is for having things on the rocks or having things neat. Hence the name rocks glass. So usually small measures or single double measure with ice on the rocks. The next one I'm pretty sure everybody is familiar with. This is a shot glass. It's for shots. I don't need to say anymore. This is obviously a large shot glass, but yeah. I don't think I need to touch any more on that one there. The next one is a highball. Now this is probably your most go-to glass for a lot of things. Vodka orange, vodka coke, gin and tonic, that sort of thing. Uh, even Tom Collins's, all that sort of stuff. A lot of cocktails as well will go in your highball. The next one is a martini glass. Now it's not just for martinis, you can have other cocktails in here. A lot of cocktails are just pure alcohol uh, and then shaken up or stirred will often go in a martini glass. The next one is a margarita glass. Self-explanatory, it's for margaritas. Now, the glass that I'm missing is a coupe. Now, a coupe looks something similar to a margarita glass and a martini glass. It's basically, all you see is it's this bit, the top bit essentially, of a margarita glass and a stem down. Now, it's called a coupe, it's a champagne coupe. It's designed mainly for champagne. You can have cocktails in it as well. A little fun fact about it as well, it's designed on the shape of Mary Antoinette's boot. And then the last one, which is probably the most uncommon one, is a schooner. Now, a schooner is a two-thirds pint glass, so you can have two-thirds pints in here, but you can also have a lot of cocktails in here as well. A lot of cocktails nowadays are served in schooners. They're a good measure for it, and it gives a good balance as well. So that pretty much wraps up a quick rundown of the most common glassware you can occur. If you think I've missed any, make sure you let me know in the comment section down below. If you have enjoyed today's video, though, please make sure you smash that like button. It would be much and greatly appreciate it. If you guys are new in here as well, please make sure you click that up on script. If you want to click the bell as well to join the notification squad, that would be absolutely fantastic. If you want to check any of my social media, links to them will be in the description. On that guys, so until next time, I've been the Prentai and I'll see you in the next one.